So this is the Mazda Speed Mazda Familia rear wing third brake light. As you'll see, there's a crack here, and the inside is already contaminated because of the crack. So we will try to repair this, and in order to repair it, we will need to open this area here. And since this back cover here is glued in place, we need to cut it open. The type of addition of the back cover to the main third brake light body cannot be forced by just simply prying it out. So we're going to cut it open. So that's it. I've completely cut the rear portion, the back portion of this third brake light. We're trying to repair it because this is a rear unit. Let's see what's inside, if it's still repairable or not. There you go. Oh, so as you'll see, there are lots of missing leads here due to corrosion. So this is just a retainer for the board. So we hope that the board here can still be used. Just as I thought, the moving parts inside are not just dirt but the lead itself. As you'll see, due to water contamination, the terminals of the leads got corroded. So I need to remove this part here also in order to remove the board. Lens for the proper distribution of the light. As you'll see, lots of broken LEDs here. Oh, so this is the bracket for the board for the other side here. Since it's the same here. And you can try to pull out the wires. There you go. So that's it. This is the part that we need to preserve the most. Because we can just change the internal light with a 12 volt sled strip, I think. So let's remove this rubber grommet here for the wires. Let's just pull it out. So let's just hope that we can still revive the board here. As you'll see, there are lots of corrosion. Let's see. So I need to clean this first. The important part here is the board actually. If uh, we can't use the board anymore, I can make a new board for this, but it will be costly for the customer. Well, let's check this out first. So we'll just try to clean this first. And let's hope that the board is still good. So I've counted the LEDs here. There are a total of 84 LEDs that we need to replace. So okay na lahat ng resistors sa likod. Makabit na natin. And ito mga LED naman. So there you go. I installed and aligned all the LEDs.